One of the things that we realized when building Web3 tooling is that we're still distributing all of our tools over Web2. Distributing software with Web2 infrastructure inherently relies on single points of failure. So even though you can build a lot of security around your build servers, it's still vulnerable to attack. I'm Alec Wontok, co-founder and CEO of Valist. My name is Zachary Pelkey, and I am the CTO of Valist. I'm based in Harrisburg because this is where I went to university and ultimately met my co-founder, Zach. We both had a couple remote jobs, and when entering Web3, we realized that we didn't need to go to any major hub to do what we needed to do. What led up to Valis over the years, all of these problems that we had seen with releasing software and distributing your software, we wanted to kind of use these next generation technologies to make developers' lives easier so that they don't have to really deal with these problems anymore. With the solar winds attack, the whole world saw what happens when everyone relies on a single point of failure. And when attackers are able to get behind a single system that everyone's relying on, hackers were able to bypass their access control systems, make themselves administrators, and issue malware as if it was genuine software. And since everyone was relying on SolarWinds security, it quickly broke down once they got access. With Valis, we could have almost completely eliminated the situation. We use cryptographic key pairs for our authentication mechanism. So there's no usernames or passwords. If there is a database, it will get breached. So we eliminate that entirely from the picture. We've built a system that makes it really easy to rotate developer keys, as well as the keys on your build servers. As a developer, I have a private key that I have not shared with anyone else in the world. And using that private key, I can then sign a piece of data, which then produces a digital signature. And then using that digital signature, anyone from all around the world can then take my public key and they can verify that I am the signer of that piece of data. Valis' mission is to accelerate the transition to Web3. We're building the railings to fulfill that vision so that we can have Web3 native applications from source code all the way to the end application. Valis actually couldn't exist without IPFS. IPFS is our primary storage layer, and it comes with a lot of security guarantees out of the box. We take the content identifiers or the content addresses from IPFS and then we coordinate which of those belongs to a particular version, like 1.0.1, for example. Once we have that coordination, then the entire network can deliver that specific piece of software to wherever you need it to go in a secure way. Valis is a strong access control system applied to decentralized storage. And what this allows you to do is distribute almost any software from executable binaries, NPM packages to Docker images, you name it. And it allows regions to transfer their dependencies between each other very quickly, as well as other developers. You could create a verifiable, cryptographically provable link between your source code and the end application delivered to your users. With traditional Web 2, there's not really any guarantee that my artifact that I've uploaded to a web server will stay online. With something like Filecoin, I now have a geographically diverse set of servers from all around the world. This now takes the process and democratizes it so that anybody anywhere could take the data on IPFS and back that with their own IPFS network. Not only that, they could now even contribute Filecoin so that that software could live on the internet indefinitely. In an ideal world, consumers wouldn't even realize that they're using Ballast. They would just realize that they're seeing a lot less hacks. And for developers, we focus really hard on making the onboarding experience seamless with things like passwordless email login, meta transactions. Even if you have no Web3 experience at all, you could get started using this and still use your favorite developer tools. Valis is effectively the railings that we need to fully realize the vision of Web3 and allow us to distribute all software in a peer-to-peer -peer way. Web3 is inevitable. Through decentralization, we're all coming together from all over the world to make the internet a better, stronger, more resilient place against hackers. Join the revolution. <laughs>